Icelocked here with Nocturne Gaming, back with more Legends of Eidolon, and today we're taking a look at a mining guide. When you first get started mining, the first thing you'll want to do is check out your skills info page for your mining stats. Mining efficiency is your primary stat here, and it dictates how much ore per hour you'll get, as you'll need more mining efficiency to mine higher level nodes, as well as get to multi-ore drop chance. And we'll go over that in just a minute. The next thing is your mining speed. There's very few ways to increase this and it's mostly using a food and it does affect your ores per hour. However, I really wouldn't focus too much on this as it's only really useful when you're trying to get samples that you'll unlock access to in World 3. The last stat that's important later on is the multi-ore drop chance and early game I would not focus on this. However, whenever you get enough efficiency to start getting into later tiers of ores, the multi-ore drop chance will become much more important. The next thing we need to look at is in your AFK info page, and if you're in any mining area, this is what your mining AFK info will look like. It tells you your ores per hour as well as your experience per hour, but the main thing we're looking here is this efficiency requirement bar here. And you'll see that to mine the Sunfire ore, I do need a total of 1.25 million mining efficiency, but I really don't gain a whole lot at that level. It's not until I get to 100% at 50 million mining efficiency that I start gaining ores consistently. So we can go ahead and bump that up really quick using our cards. And we'll go over cards in just a minute. But if we look at our AFK info now, this, chain, this bar changes here. And you can see at one times, it's the 50 million mining efficiency. However, if I can get to 403 million, then I'll start gaining two ores for every time I swing my ax. And that will allow me to gain a lot more of the ores. This is kind of difficult to show you on the Starfire ore. So we'll go ahead and move to the copper ores really quick. And in our AFK info here, you can see that I'll get 70 times more copper ore just because I have more efficiency. Now this is multiplied before our multi ore drop chance and I have a total of 155% there. So I'll actually get a little over 100 times more ore just because I have enough efficiency and multi ore drop chance. So now let's talk about ways to increase your mining efficiency. First is your gear. Starting with the Viking cap, this gives you 10% mining efficiency and is made in tab two of the anvil. From there is the dirty coal miner baggy soot pants, and this gives you 5% more mining efficiency and it's made in tab one of the anvil. After that is the rough rockers. These are made in tab four of the anvil and they give you 35% mining efficiency. However, there is a version that's made in tab two, the cavern trekkers, and those give you 20% mining efficiency. But I would upgrade these as soon as possible as it's a great boost to your overall gains. From there is your Persephone's Bouquet, and this is bought from the Dungeon's Florbo shop, and it gives you a 15% to all skill AFK gain rate. After that is the Serrated Rex Rings, and these give you 6% skill efficiency at base, and they're made by crafting a recipe drop, which is from Baba Yaga. Our next set of equipment is kind of special, and it's the Trinkets. These are kind of up to luck if you can get good trinkets, However, I really recommend the trinkets that either have plus to all stats or plus to a percentage of strength, or if you can get the ones to give you more mining EXP gain, it's a great way to level up your mining a little faster. The next thing on the list would be our tools, and we're taking a look at our pickaxe here. We wanna make the strongest pickaxe we can as mining power is one of the most important stats we can get that gives us more mining efficiency. Starting with the Platinum level tools or above, you'll also get a miscellaneous stat for an increase to your total mining efficiency. Onto our food tab now. This one's a little bit special and there's a couple important things to mention here. First is using your golden peanuts. They give you an increase to your mining efficiency. However, they do have a diminishing return. So the more peanuts you have, the less effective each peanut will be, but it is worth it to get a couple hundred of them at least. After that is your Speed Foods, your Icing Iron Bite, and your Gifty Bread Man. These both increase your mining speed, but they're consumed relatively quickly, so I wouldn't use these on an everyday basis, and I would hold on to them for whenever you're trying to get a new printer sample. 
After that, the other important ones are your golden ham for more increased your skill EXP, and then any foods that can increase your max HP. There is an alchemy bubble that gives you more efficiency, or more mining efficiency whenever you have more HP. However, this is snapshotted when you enter the map. So to get the most out of this, we need to switch all of our foods over to give us more uh, HP and then also grab the things like another card set and make sure you're using the Isikin Shrine to give you more HP. So if we look at it right now, I have about uh, 35 million mining efficiency using the setup, um, but whenever I exit and then re-enter, I will get another boost to my mining efficiency up to 36 billion, and then I can switch back my foods and my cards to get more total efficiency this way. So we'll switch this over real quick, and our cards are back on. And you'll see that my mining efficiency is at about 114 million using this setup. A couple other things that you can use are things like the Royal Turban to give you more golden food effect. And then using the Opal Rings from the Dungeons Flurbo Shop can also give you another percentage to your overall stats, which can give you more total mining efficiency using a snapshot. Next, let's talk about your talents, and you do want to be on a warrior-based class such as the Barbarian or Squire, and this is because all of your mining talents are in the warrior class. So we'll start with tab 1 set for Brute Efficiency to give you more total efficiency. Idle skilling is great for more AFK gain rates, however there is a diminishing returns on this, so at 50 points I would recommend moving on to your next priority and then filling it up later. Your next priority should be Fist of Rage to increase your base strength. Strength does increase your overall mining efficiency and it gives you more maximum HP. Next, your priority should be Health Boosters for more maximum HP. From there, we'll move on to Tab 2 and these four talents in the bottom are all kind of equal priority. And so in no particular order, Big Pick is great to give you more ores per hour. However, you do need to make sure you assign it to your attack bar. Next would be Copper Collector for more mining efficiency based on the number of copper ore in your storage chest. And Motherload Miner is great for more multi-ore drop chance. However, I would late, wait till later in the game for this and your priority should be into tool proficiency to give you more mining power from your pickaxes. Next, your priority should be split between either Firmly Grasp It or Absolute Unit as each of these will give you one point of strength per talent point with the exception of you need at least one point in to firmly grasp it as this will give you a free 15 strength. From there, stress tested garb is great to give you more strength from your equipment. However, early game, I wouldn't put too many points in here as your equipment won't give you a lot of strength until much later in the game. Health overdrive is another great boost to your maximum HP and we'll move on to tab three next. On tab three, there's not a lot here for us, but we do want points in the strength some more for more maximum talent level and Fist of Rage. And Shieldy of Statues is great to give you more mining power from your mining statues. Fistful of Obel is worth mentioning as you can get more strength here. However, it's a very low amount, so this would be one of my last priorities. If you do need more talent points on tab two, you can put points into Back to the Basics and this will increase the amount that you can put into your mining talents. Another honorable mention here is super samples as you can get more sample size from this talent on your squire. Uh, however, this would not be a big priority for me early game. On tab four in the Divine Knight tree, you do have a few that are good boost to your strength and skill efficiency, such as your skill strengthen to give you more um, skill efficiency from your strength and also another small boost to your overall strength. Overblown Testosterone is another great way for more talent points into Fist of Rage and increases your total amount of strength. Symbols of Beyond is another great way to get more talent points into all of your skills. As long as you have at least one talent point in here, this can give you up to, I believe, nine extra uh, talent points in all skills if you have this maxed out at 116. And lastly, looking at our star talents, we do want points into Will of the Eldest for more base stats, and this gives you more strength. TikTok is great for more AFK gain rates, and toilet paper postage is also good depending on how high your stamps are. 
From there on tab two, we do want points into super source for more base efficiency and action frenzy gives you more speed to all skills. It is worth putting points into frothy mock to boost your foods. And then I always like having points into my shrine architect, printer sampling and telekinetic storage. On tab three, you can put points into uber charged health for more base HP. Taking a look at our cards now, we do want things like iron for more mining efficiency. Your dementia card is great for more mining speed, platinum for AFK gain rates, your void for more mining efficiency, and then farther down your luster card for more mining speed. It's also good to mention things like the bunny for more skill AFK gain rates, as well as AMRAC for additional skill AFK gain rates. The last one worth mentioning is the Chaotic Troll, and this gives you more all skill efficiency. Other than that, in your card sets, you do want to use the easy resources for more skill efficiency, or the hard resources for more skilled AFK gain rate, depending on where you are in your breakpoints for the multi or drop chance. For your star signs, I do recommend things like Dwarf Beardus for more mining efficiency and multi or drop chance, and the Big Comatose for more skill AFK gain rate. In the Hydrant tab, you can get Comatose Major for again more skill AFK gain rates, or you can use things like Strandisi for more percentage to your total strength. In World 1, we do have two things that are worth picking up. First is your stamps, and we do want stamps like Pickaxe Stamp for more base mining efficiency, your Twin Ore Stamp for more multi ore drop chance, your Smart Dirt Stamp is good for more mining XP gain, and your Cool Diggy Tool Stamp for more base mining efficiency. It's also worth mentioning the little mining baggy stamp that gives you more carry capacity for your mining items. In your combat tab, there are a few things that can help you, such as your base HP stamps, as well as your fist stamps. And there's a couple more farther down to give you additional strength as well. Also in World 1, we can pick up the statues, and we want statues such as the mining statue for more mining power, the feasty statue to increase your food effects, and your health statue to increase your base health. Don't forget to pick up the golden statues as this will share all of your statues between all of your characters. Moving on to world two, there's a couple good things we can pick up in alchemy, starting with Roid Ragin for more total strength, Warrior's Rule, which can basically double the amount of bonuses you get from your other alchemy bubbles. Hardy Digging is one of the most important things we can get and this gives you more mining efficiency based on your total HP. After that, Wyoming Blood is a large bubble, so you do need to equip it over here on the right-hand side, but it does give you more multi ore chance. Really Smart can give you more mining EXP, and then farther on up is Strong Tools to give you more skilling power from your pickaxes. And the last one in the red tab is all the way at the top, which is Dreams of Iron Fish to give you more mining AFK gain rates. The other thing that's worth mentioning here is prowess area, and this does increase your prowess area, which reduces the amount of mining efficiency you need to get to the multi ore drop chance. There is one other way to get prowess area, and we'll go over that later in World 4. Other than that, in vials, you can pick up the void vial to give you more mining efficiency, and this is doubled for me because there is something we'll go over later in World 4 as well. There's two other quick things to mention in World 2. First is the post office, and we want the Dwarven Supplies box to give us more mining efficiency, prowess effect, and mining AFK gain rate. The next is the Myriad Crate to give you more base efficiency and all skill EXP. If you have enough boxes, you can put into the HP box to give you more maximum HP as well. However, this would be a low priority for me. Also in World 2 is our obols, and we want as many of these obols that give us more mining power and strength as possible, and I am still working on filling that out myself. And other than that, you can use your family tab for more mining stuff. However, these are all these are shared between all characters, so I would be careful on filling these out with mining unless that's just your big focus right now. In World 3, there's only one big thing to increase your efficiency, and that's your Prayer Obelisk. We're mainly looking at Skilled Dimwit that increases your skill efficiency at the cost of reducing the amount of skill EXP you'll gain. 
There is one other that you can use that gives you more EXP gain, but it decreases your efficiency. So there's kind of a balance here using which pair you want, depending on what you want to gain. In World 4, there are two things that increase your overall skill efficiency. First is the dinner menu, and there's a couple things here, such as the corn that gives you more total skill efficiency. And then further down, you have the rice ball for more skill efficiency. And lastly, the leek, which gives you more skilling prowess. And the prowess does reduce the amount of efficiency you need for more multi or drop chance. Also in World 4, you do have the laboratory bonuses, and there's a couple that are really good, such as the Certified Stamp Book, which doubles all of the bonuses from your stamps, and the My First Chemistry Stamp, which doubles all of your alchemy vials. Both of these give you a decent boost to your mining efficiency. And also don't forget about the Emerald Navette, which gives you more base efficiency and skilling action speed. Also in the laboratory is your console, which can give you these chips, which can give you decent increases to your overall skill efficiency using things like this red chip that gives you more percentage to your total skill efficiency or another chip to give you more base skill efficiency. You can also use the things like this that increase your trophy or your keychain bonuses. And the other ones that are worth mentioning are these two grayer chips, which can double the bonuses from your cards, depending on if they're in the top left or bottom right slots. A couple other small bonuses that you can get are from things like the guild that gives you stat runes for more total stats, or the multi-tool for more total skill efficiency, or sleepy skiller for more skill AFK gain rate, and other things like the star dazzle for more star talent points. One last bonus to mention is the Maestro's right hand of action, as this can give you a pretty large benefit to your overall skill efficiency. However, the big thing to remember here is your Maestro's skill level actually has to be higher than your Squire's mining level, otherwise you don't get the bonus to your skill efficiency. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're enjoying this type of content, and a huge shout out to our Patreon members that support the work we do. Thank you from all of us here at Nocturne Gaming. If you would like to become a patron and get some added benefits, check out the link in the description. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, please leave them down below for me, and we'll see you next time.